people may be out and about later on this evening. And hey, if we talk about the weather, it's going to be a perfect night for it. Let's just let's just talk straight about that. Now, as we continue into this upcoming week, we will see a big weather shift in the pattern, and we will continue to monitor the chance for some stronger thunderstorms to develop in the forecast. And then by midweek, a cold snap. But for today, again, it's going to be fantastic for those folks to get out and about. If we go ahead and take a look at some of those temperatures right now, sitting in the 70s for some of us over into Dallas, Terrell and over to Fort Worth, 71, Greenville, McKinney at 70 degrees, and it's feeling nice and mild. Now, as we continue into the evening hours, we will start to see those temperatures on the decline back into the 60s and eventually into the 50s by later on this evening. If there's people celebrating later on tonight, you might need a jacket. It will be nice and crisp outside. Tomorrow morning will be a little bit on the chillier side as well around 51 degrees for you into Dallas, Fort Worth, over into Greenville, around 44 degrees. Again, tomorrow's forecast will continue to climb back into the 70s once again. Partly cloudy skies will be anticipated. We're going to see those winds out from the south, and they'll be uh, around 5 to 10 miles per hour. That'll be pumping in the moisture, so by the time Sunday rolls around, well, we have that frontal system that'll swing through. Prefrontal showers will be expected, but Monday is when we really start to see some of the stronger weather back into the forecast. I want to go ahead and detail the severe weather risk in the in the excuse me in the green shaded area along the I-35 corridor. It's a marginal threat for isolated strong to severe thunderstorms, gusty winds and the potential for some hail is going to be the main concern over into our slight risk is going to be into those early morning hours into Monday and that leads us to that big risk headed into Monday when that big line of thunderstorms moves across the region. Let's Let's go ahead and detail out what we're going to be anticipating though into our Sunday time period. A couple of sprinkles in the early morning on Sunday into the afternoon. A couple more robust cells are going to be likely. Heavy rainfall will be expected for the eastern counties. Now across the Metroplex, some of that stronger weather will be expected around your 7, 8, 9 p.m. hour that continues to move up to the north. Now here's where things get a little nasty. Big frontal system swings through into your Monday morning. You can see all those darker reds, but it is very linear. So that's telling me gusty winds are going to be one of the biggest concerns upwards of 60 miles per hour. Continues to move off to the east by your Monday morning. Again, I-35 corridor, your early morning commute likely to be impacted. That's exactly why the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted a risk for scattered potential of severe weather headed into the day on Monday. Along with that, another frontal system will swing through headed into Wednesday, and those lows will be dipping back down into the 40s and potentially into the upper 30s. It's going to be a little bit nasty as we continue into your Sunday evening and Monday. And then again, we see those cooler temperatures and that fall-like weather back into the forecast, Ken. All right, Laura, thank you very much.